For gender and sexual minorities, cities can be a place of opportunity, but can also be places where inequality, exclusion, isolation, and lack of safety will be experienced. For example, around a fourth of homeless people are estimated to be LGBTQ+. Four out of five LGBTQ plus people are affected by hate crimes, and this has gone up by 147% since the Brexit vote. On average, LGBTQ plus elderly people are more isolated than their peers and might still be coping with the trauma from years of criminalization. There are currently no permanent centres for LGBTQ plus culture or history in London, and queer venues and services are closing at an alarming rate. All these factors and many more are evidence of the inequalities and lack of inclusion of gender and sexual minorities in cities today. So we thought we'd ask, what would an inclusive city look like from an LGBTQ plus perspective? February 27th, my Queer City workshop was organized as part of the Academy of Urbanism Young Urbanist Small Grant Scheme. It gathered around 15 people identifying as LGBTQ+, mostly working on different areas of city making. They discussed what would make a city inclusive to LGBTQ people in terms of topics such as housing, Facilities and services, yeah. and infrastructure and public space. Across different areas, various themes emerged, which helped us outline the ambitions for a truly inclusive city. These were aspects such as visibility of queer issues and people, access to adequate spaces and adequate services, opportunities for community solidarity and action, and explicit financial and political support by society and authorities. In addition, we felt that intersectionality was key. We also talked about who is supposed to implement these changes, and although we seem to agree that there's steps for decision makers and authorities to take, we actually all have a part to play. If you want to find out more about how we can all make this happen, then please check out the report for this project for more results from the workshop and ideas on how we can progress together. Thank you for participating in making our cities more inclusive for all. Oh.